Castle Doombad, released on the 9th of January, is the game that nobody was expecting. You play servant to Dr. Lord Evilstein, helping him defend his castle against an onslaught of heroes trying to break in and save the kidnapped princess. At its most primal, it's a tower defence game. Collect resources, build traps, then sit back and wait as the attacking force meets its grisly end. But Castle Doombad is so much more than that. For starters, it takes the genre of tower defence to its literal extreme. In a nice break from the norm, the field of battle is vertical, a feature that is fully exploited by the trap door, which can plummet unsuspecting heroes back down to a lower level. You start the game with some basic floor spikes, and your captured princess, who simply won't stop her incessant screaming. Luckily for you, those screams are collected and used to purchase more traps. The first wave of heroes will arrive at the front door, but subsequent waves may pour in through upstairs windows. To help you out, your evil master adds levels to the tower and moves the princess to the top with the help of his flying monkey. In a cruel twist, it's not simply enough for the heroes to reach the princess. As any good adventurer knows, you have to get out alive, and that means a journey back through your tower of torment. As heroes are killed, you'll collect further screams, as well as shekels, the in-game currency that lets you purchase new types of trap and upgrade existing ones between levels. Evilstein has good taste. Amongst a generous assortment of traps on offer, you'll find ceiling-mounted buzzsaws and acid drippers, harpoon cannons and laser guns for ranged defence, and the treadmill of doom, which will slow down your foes as they stop to work out. Traps are designed to be mounted on either the floor, wall or ceiling, potentially allowing up to three to be combined to deadly effect. This allows for some devious tactics. On its own, the treadmill will only slow a hero's progress, but mount a buzzsaw above it and wait for the screams. As you progress through the levels, you'll also face tougher heroes, including some with special abilities like the ninja, which can crawl along the ceiling to bypass your floor-mounted traps. In its concept, Castle Doombed will bring back memories of PC classic Dungeon Keeper and the more recent Evil Genius. It's a rare and guilty pleasure to play the evil villain. The game currently features three chapters of 15 levels each, and an unlockable endless mode for further challenge. As a premium rather than free-to-play title, it's well-priced at £1.99 or $2.99 US. There are in-app purchase options allowing you to upgrade your traps faster, but the game is well-balanced and you won't need these to succeed. So, my verdict. I can't stress enough how great this game is. If you only download one new game this month, then make sure it's Castle Doom Bad. It's fun, it's balanced, the graphics are a pleasure, and it's unique enough to stand out from a category of games dominated by the likes of Field Runners, Kingdom Rush, and the colossal force that is PopCap's Plants vs. Zombies. If pressed, the only criticism I could pin to this game is that the landscape screen format limits your view, preventing you from seeing the whole field of battle. It's a trivial point to pick up on though, in an otherwise superb title. It deserves every one of the five stars that I'm giving it. Castle Doombad was released in the App Store on the 9th of January. If you haven't already, go and get it, you won't be disappointed. If you are playing it, leave a comment and let me know what you think.